Hey you guys, welcome back to another Vlogmas video. I'm really excited about today's video because once again, it's all about getting ready for 2021. And I wanted to share with you something that I'm experiencing myself in hopes that it helps you also have an amazing 2021. Today's video is all about creating a theme for 2021. And basically what this means is if you've never done it before, it's just either something along the lines picking a word or a phrase that represents how you want to feel and the things you want to experience in the coming year. For the longest time, my word was believe. And it was such an important word in my life that it drove me for years. I wrote a book about it, hashtag believe, damn it. And it was really the driving force in every single transformation that I made in my life. So as you can see, selecting a word or a phrase to propel you into the new year is very powerful and it can impact your life tremendously. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So I have six tips for you when it comes to creating your theme in 2021. The funny thing is the way I came across my theme for 2021 was actually very comical. On Instagram, there was this reel that showed how certain signs behave versus how other signs behave. And I will put it in right here so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. But you did this for what? Why not? Why? Why not? <laughs> Why though? So I am a Cancer and if you notice the girl who's a Cancer, she's dressed very casually and she's just, her questioning is to the other signs which, you know, are dressed very, um, you know, very nice and just going over the top and the whole thing is about the Cancer is going, but why? Why? And the other girl is going, but why not? Right? And that is my whole theme of my life. Sometimes I don't go the extra mile for the smallest of things um, or for the biggest of things because I have this mentality of like, but why? What's the point? What's the point in putting makeup on? What's the point in dressing up? What's the point of going out? What's the point of buying a cute, you know, pair of shoes when I already have one? And believe it or not, that is not a good way for me to approach my life. And the upcoming year, 2021, I decided that I wanted to change. So this is my year of why not. And you guys, you might think that that is not a huge deal. And it may not be to you because it's not something that you struggle with. But you guys, I've been drinking the same creamer in my coffee for at least 20 years. I don't change. I like what I like and I don't change. And I don't like that because I'm not really experiencing life the way I want to experience it. There are so many things that I'm missing out on just because I can't see the reasoning behind it. And it started out as simply as, you know, setting out a nice table placement for uh, the holidays or buying an extra cute, you know, arrangement for my table. Normally I would be like, but why? I'm the only one who's going to see it. But why? Because it matters, because it makes me happy. But, you know, trying a new cup of coffee flavor, because even though, believe it or not, I go to Starbucks, I get the same thing every single time I go. I don't like it anymore. I'm tired of it. And I won't try something new. Why not? Because I'm afraid I'm not going to like it and then I'm going to waste the money or waste my time or regret it. That's basically what it boils down to is regret. So we went to Starbucks the other day. My husband grabbed something new and I tried it and I was like, it, it was just, it was delicious. And I was like, why had I not tried this before? Because I'm so stuck in my ways. So my theme for the year is why not? Why not go out to my husband's gig and meet other people? Why not 
you know, uh, get dressed up really cute, even if I'm at home, because it'll make me feel better in the end. So my 2021 theme is my year of why not. So that is my first tip. It was a little long introduction, but my first tip to you is select a word or a phrase that will drive you and inspire you in the upcoming year. So in order to, you know, um, get inspired and to just make sure that you're grounded in your word and grounded in your phrase and all the things that you want to do, I encourage you to make a vision board. I know if you guys know anything about me and watch the channel at all, you guys know that I love creating vision boards, whether they're actually on my wall or whether I create them in a notebook or whether I create them digitally. I am a big proponent of creating vision boards because what you focus on, you attract. So the whole point of having a vision board is to have a place of focus. When you can just um, focus in on those desires that you really want and you can see them, you will be more likely to notice them when they show up or notice opportunities that will lead you to your ultimate vision. So I'm a big proponent of vision boards, however you want to create them. I usually create mine at the first of the year. So right now I'm still determining which method I want to go with. If not two or three, maybe I'll create all three digital and the one that I put on my wall and maybe in a notebook. I've really, I'm really, really, really into scrapbooking. So I think I'm gearing more towards a 2021 vision board and just fill it up with a ton of things. That is where I think my head is at for 2021. We'll see in the coming weeks what I end up doing. Next is the letter. Once you have your word or you have your phrase and you have a vision board all created, I encourage you to write a letter to yourself and write it in present tense as if you are living the things that you have set out to experience this coming year. For example, let's say that your word is believe like mine had been for so many years. I will write a letter to myself saying how grateful I am that I believe in myself. Because I believe in myself, I accomplished so and so, I accomplished this and that. So all the things that you want to accomplish, all the things that you want to have realized and materialize in your life, write a letter to yourself in present tense as if it's already happened. Number four is the experience. And I'm calling this the experiences because I want you to make a list of things that you want to experience. So not only do you have it in vision form, but you can also write a list of things that you want to experience. And you may think it's redundant, but the more you get in tune with it, the more you can connect with it, the more you can see it and feel it, and really experience it, the more you're going to attract it to your life. The more you're going to either realize, yes, this is something I want, or no, this is something I don't want. Because believe it or not, we may think we want something, but when we get really close to achieving it, we might feel like, hmm, I don't think I want that after all. If you can connect with this is what I'm experiencing once I get these things, you'll get to really understand, is this really what I want to experience in my life? Number five is the feeling. Write down the things that you want to feel while going through your experience. For example, let's say that you want to experience going to Paris, right? That's an experience that most of us would love to have. Now attach it to a feeling. What is the feeling attached to that? Is the feeling attached to that a feeling of relaxation and accomplishment and feeling like it's something that you, you know, have wanted for your whole life and it makes you feel accomplished? Or is that feeling attached to, ha, I proved them wrong. I went to Paris even though they said I couldn't go. So you really have to understand what you're feeling in the experiencing and connect them. Connect the feeling and the experience so that they are both in tune with each other, that they are both positive, that they are actually bringing you joy, that there are things that you want to feel, not that you think others want you to feel or that you think you should 
feel. It's all about you. And that's why this exercise I feel is so important. Number six is awareness. And by this, I mean, be aware while you're doing this entire exercise, be aware of the resistance or the pushback that you're getting in your gut regarding the things that you want to experience and the life you want to live and the way you want to feel. Because let's go back to that experience of wanting to go to Paris. Let's say you want to go to Paris and then all of a sudden the, the, the ego, the words that you're hearing back are you'll never going to get there because you know you have a fear of flying well that's a pushback that is already a negative feeling that has entered your thoughts that is going to prevent you from actually accomplishing your ultimately your ultimate goal of going to paris so what i recommend you do is just be aware of the pushback that you're getting and write it down and then write the opposite response to it. If the fear is fear of flying, your opposite response to that, that you can come back to it when that fear pops in, is saying, I am brave and strong and I can do this. Something along those lines, something that is the complete opposite of that negative thought that entered your mind the minute you said you wanted to fly to Paris. So the more you do it, the more you can um, counteract that negative thought, that thought is a habit of thinking that you have. And all you have to do is break that habit. You break that habit, that pattern of thought with a new habit. So the minute the words, you're afraid of flying, pop in your head instead of you believing it and start thinking about it and going over it in your head you immediately think of your new habit of thought and you can combat it with I am brave I can do anything you know whatever affirmation works for you so I hope you found this video helpful today's question is do you have a word or a phrase that you're entering 2021 with I'd love to know leave it in the comments below as you know to be entered in the Vlogmas giveaway, you have to like and comment on every Vlogmas video that I do and you have to be subscribed to the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, that you're enjoying Vlogmas, that you're getting to know me a little bit more and I will see you guys again in a brand new video tomorrow. Until then, stay safe.